Alrighty, hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing addition reactions to alkene. So, we have an example of a methyl cyclohexene. So, suppose you go in and you add a hydrohalogen. Recall that we call this reaction hydrohalogenation. Right, so if you're predicting the product, get rid of that carbon, carbon double bond, and hydrogen and bromine are adding across the carbon, carbon double bond, right? And if you do recall, the bromine adds to the more substituted position of that carbon, carbon double bond. So what we refer to it as a Markovnikov addition, right? It's a Markovnikov addition of bromine, something that we need to keep in mind. It's a Markovnikov addition of bromine. All right. So now suppose you want it bromine to add to the less substituted end of that carbon-carbon double bond. So there is a similar reagent that would achieve that. Um, we would still be using hydrogen bromide or a hydrohalogen, right? So we would still be using a hydrohalogen, but we would go in and add a peroxide, the simplest being hydrogen peroxide. And what we would get is the hydrogen and the halogen being added across the carbon-carbon bond, but the halogen adds to the less substituted position of that carbon-carbon double bond. And we refer to that as an anti Markovnikov addition, right? It's an anti Markovnikov addition where the bromine is being added to the less substituted end of the carbon-carbon double bond. Okay, one of the other reactions that we had talked about is referred to as halogenation reaction, right? And in halogenation, what we're doing is we're adding two halogens across a carbon, carbon double bond. And if you recall the mechanism, it goes through a bromidium ion bridged intermediate, right? Because both atoms that are being added is, are bromine, we can't really say Markovnikov or anti-Markovnikov. However, that particular reaction, the two bromines end up being added anti to one another. So something that to keep in mind is that it is an anti addition, right? Where both bromines are trans to one another, right? And that's because it goes through the bromidium ion bridged intermediate. All right, so that's halogenation, that's hydrohalogenation. Okay, now suppose tilted. Okay, so now suppose what we have in solution is um, bromine, but we also go in and add water. All right, so this is water, not hydrogen peroxide, and this is bromine, not hydrogen bromide, right? So what we get is that we're adding two groups across a carbon-carbon double bond. What we're adding is a bromine and water, right? Remember, its mechanism is very similar to halogenation, right? But water adds to the more substituted position of that carbon-carbon double bond. It is still an anti-addition where one will be on a dash and one will be on a wedge. You still get its enantiomer as well. So something to keep in mind about hydro, I mean, um, halohydrin formation, it's that it is an anti-addition, but it is also a Markovnikov addition of the hydroxide, where the hydroxide is the atom that is being added to the more substituted end of that carbon-carbon double bond. Okay, so now let's think about hydration reactions, right? There is acid-catalyzed hydration, where we have hydronium ion. Recall this could be sulfuric acid in water as well, or it could say dilute sulfuric acid, and what we're adding is water across a carbon-carbon bond, okay? So it's a Markovnikov addition of water. So meaning that really the hydroxide is being added to the more substituted end of that carbon-carbon double bond, right? Markovnikov addition of the hydroxide. What if we wanted an anti-Markovnikov hydration? Then what we use is a set of two reagents, right? We use BH3 and THF, boron and THFs to avoid forming a diboron. 
reagent, I mean complex, and then in the second step we use hydrogen peroxide under basic conditions. So what we get is an anti-Merkovnikov -Kov addition where the hydroxide is being added to the less substituted position of that carbon-carbon double bond. So it is an anti-Merkovnikov. Something else to keep in mind with respect to this reaction is that it is a syn addition. Right? Meaning that the hydroxide and the hydrogen are being added to the same phase of that carbon-carbon double bond. Meaning if the hydroxide is on a wedge, that hydrogen that added on this carbon is also on a wedge. So if it has a substituent, that substitu substituent must be on a dash. All right, perfect. So those are the addition reactions that you need to know for your upcoming exam.